हेलो गाइस नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू एंड्रॉइड ट्रिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ईच वन ऑफ यू फॉर द ट्रिमेंडस रिस्पांस ऑन द गिव अवे ऑफ दोस इयरफोन्स व्हिच आई अपलोडेड रिसेंटली इफ यू हैव नॉट पार्टिसिपेटेड ऑलरेडी आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गो अहेड एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो द लिंक इज राइट ओवर हियर दीज आर द गिव अवेज ऑफ QCY QY12 इयरफोन्स व्हिच आर प्रीटी ब्रिलियंट चेक द रिव्यू इफ यू वांट टू and this video is about top 10 unique apps for the month of july which is in collaboration with my friend pr75k so if you like his part of the video make sure to hit that subscribe button the link is down in the description box below so without wasting any further time let's get started 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 The first step on my list is called Glasswire application. I personally love tracking my internet usage and this application helps me do that. The one feature which I love the most is the live graphs. For example, as you can see it over here, it's pretty stable right now. But let me download a app and boom, as you can see it can track live internet usage. which is pretty awesome you can also keep a data limit by going into settings which will alert you when you reach a certain limit the first app on my list is called awesome pop up video it is basically the picture in picture mode of mac os or the android o which you can get on any android device in this way you can play any of the youtube videos in the background you can use instagram or any other app and watch youtube videos at the same time The second app on my list is the Focus browser application which is by far one of the best application for private search. Well, I know the Chrome has incognito mode, but this is even better because if you're browsing via this application then you have an option of blocking social trackers, ads, etc, which comes in very handy. Once you are done browsing, you can delete all your browsing history with just one touch and boom, as you can see it over here, your browsing history has been deleted. The next app on the list is called Status. So this is basically a notification bar app which allows you to change the notification bar or the status bar without two taps. It has a ton of customization options. For example, you can change the logo of the the battery icon, the network signal, you can align the placement of the clock to left, right or center or whatever and there's a tons of things. So there's a lot you can do without two taps. The next step can be very useful to you or totally useless depending on how you use your device. If you use Android application to do your office works like emails, writing scripts, making presentation, then this application is one of the best app to check your grammar errors. It is really easy to use. Just install the application and open the app where you are writing and then press this floating button and it will show you all the errors which are there on the screen. You can also correct it directly from here or you can just ignore the problem if you think you are right. This app called App for Type allows you to add different kind of text on your images. You can't add custom text so that's a bad thing. but you do have some awesome text with some awesome fonts which you can use on your photos for example i took this photo in thailand so i just wanted to give it a travel kind of theme so after editing it i just wanted to add a text simply add a text change its color and even adjust the opacity of it you can also add some parts so that it looks like it got brushed in through the trees over there in this case so you can just make that simple look over there and you can save it and upload it on Instagram or whatever if you are into customizing android or love to share your screen then screener will definitely up your game add shadows change background and then share it all over internet i personally love using the 3d modes because it makes your setup look really classy even though it isn't here are a few examples of me using the screener application the next app is called beatbox music player It is a not so minimal music player but the audio quality is awesome from here. You can boost the bass, you can adjust the visualizer, the loudness and answer etc and play with other presets and get the type of audio you want. Now I bet if you are watching this video till here at least once you have wondered how I am I getting this raining effect on my screen. Well there's an application you need for that. The application name is Rain Paper and there are various effects which you can put in via this application like storm thunder rain drizzle etc it's really unique wallpaper app and i simply loved it the link to download is in the description box below the last app on my list is called unseen it allows you to see whatsapp telegram messenger messages on 
In other words, if there is a new message, you can see it from this app called Unseen. The blue text of the WhatsApp won't appear on the on the other guy's phone if you even if you read the message because you are not opening it from the official WhatsApp app or the Messenger app. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to PR seventy five K if you liked his part of the video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because. I am coming up with a giveaway pretty soon again. If you want me to feature any app which you love, comment down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to add it in my next video. See you guys in the next one.